Hello everyone, welcome back to Halo Reach and XCOM 2. Last episode we got to debut two new armors that I was very excited to show you guys. Latrell with a Rage Armor and Teabag with the Icarus Armor. The mission was incredibly successful and we got a new engineer to join the team. Post mission, we're alerted of a covert ops mission with Sky of Doom and Shaun the Sheep. They're both ambushed behind enemy lines with the Flood also there. Let's go ahead and hop right in and hopefully rescue those two. Alrighty, so we are now in this evac mission here for Sky of Doom and Shaun the Sheep. We have our evac point over here, which is quite far away, to be honest. Uh, do we have like a... Did I see a tram? Yeah. This does appear to go the whole length of this, so maybe we can use that as a kind of a, a guide rail here. Let's go ahead and hop up here and see if we can't use this to our advantage. I'm just going to move all the way up. Uh, just kind of a reckless move here first turn. I don't think we need to really worry about anything. Oh, Another positive of this, if we do spot someone, we can have a better chance to hit them using this guide rail. Okay, that dropped some troops down behind us. Let's see if we can't outrun them. Okay, that's actually the end of that road there. So it looks like the tram starts a little bit later on. So we keep on moving. I think we go through this building here. Yeah, something to the effect of this right here. Are we going to be in sight of them? Uh, probably. Noble team, double time it. You guys, we're not the most mobile team here, but we should be able to outrun them ever so slightly. Just as long as we keep moving and we don't deviate from the path. Okay, so that is behind this truck here. They're dropping in some troops. They got at least one officer, and they have a just regular trooper as well. Weapons free. Alrighty, these guys are now going to, I guess, just kind of run towards us. If they fire at us, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, alien activity. So they are in within range of us. We could choose to fire back at them. I kind of like the idea of just moving on, though. I want to just move, get as far away as possible from these guys. We're going to move Carter up as far possible as we can. Oh, did we spot someone else? We did a codex. No! All right, we got a codex in front of us now. Uh, we do have blue screen rounds, I believe. Yeah, Sky of Doom still has blue screen rounds, even though we haven't used them for a little bit now. Um, don't have the best chances to hit on these guys. Just trying to see... Yeah, I don't think there's any way we get around the squad site here. Did we try for this? If we fail to get that shot, it's really bad for us. So even like, let's get like cover like right here. Right on. We're really committing to engaging with this guy. I would like to just keep moving. And we missed the shot. Oh, that feels bad, man. So we're actually in a bad position here, where three of our troopers can be flanked, or rather, two of our troopers can be flanked by three enemy troops. Not to mention the fact that, well, we don't have any med kits or any other real get out of jail free cards. This mission. It's just kind of this. Alrighty. The officer is moving up, it seems, and he's going to go for a shot on me here. He missed, though. Damn. He missed. And we have the regular trooper. Probably the same thing. Get clear. He did hit. Five damage done. Okay. Now we do have, I guess, this option available. All right, let's try something like this from Sean the Sheep. We do have lightning hands available, but I think that would be a bad idea. That specific attack there would be a bad idea. Okay. Um, this is a bit silly. Let's go ahead and move all the way up to this car. And I think I'm gonna give myself an extra action here using Sean the Sheep. So doing teamwork ability. Giving him an additional action here, and using our blue screen rounds, hopefully take out this codex one shot. Yep, we took him down. 13 damage done. He dropped some gear. I don't think we're waiting for that. Alright, these enemies are moving up. 
So it looks like he marked Sky of Doom there. I don't think he's going to be able to attack, though. Uh, the uh, trooper is here, though. He went for Shaun the Sheep. Interesting. We are going for a reaction fire shot. Actually got it. Six damage done. Uh, do we hold our ground here? I don't know. We could go for some shots on these guys. It's not the best location for it, but it's also not the worst. Let's go ahead and jump up here with Sky of Doom. Um, he has some aim upgrades on his rifle. Not to mention he's just a sharpshooter, so he has additional aim. We might be able to get some lucky shots here. Like, even something like this. We could do serial. So every one of his kills is going to be refunded. Let's try this shot here, 83%. We got it, nice. Oh, that one's free. Okay. Um, so that's with you. Let's go ahead and try just a standard magnum shot. We got it! That's like a 45% chance. Okay, do you have a quick draw? Ah, you do. Using it as your first action no longer ends your turn. So we can in theory have three pistol shots available for this guy. A second one did miss. Got nothing. And let's just try one more. Third one was a dodge, but I think that might just be enough to get this shot here. Nice. So the synergy of skills there was just doing the chipping damage against the officer there. And now we have uh, the ability to go ahead and do a reload. And maybe an overwatch too. Uh-oh. So we got some flood to deal with now. Most likely attracted by all the shots we just made there. Uh, not exactly the positioning we want to be in. Let's go ahead and move our boys out of here. I would like to do, like, even something like this here, Sky of Doom. Now we have the lane clear, Shaun the Sheep, Charge. you go ahead and move too. I will have to reload here eventually with Shaun the Sheep, the DMR. Or I guess we just go full Gunslinger with the pistol, that is also an option. Sit down, pull up a chair. Okay, so that's the platform we need to get to, we're pretty close now. Alright, that's a flood moving. They are moving up the stairs. Wow, I am actually very impressed. I didn't know they could do that. So they are almost directly in the way. And the loot expired over here. Not too worried about it. I don't really want the loot from this mission, I would say. Um, what do we do here? What's the play? What's the play? I'm thinking maybe like... Even something like this here, from Sky of Doom. Hopping down over here, and then using kill zone. So every enemy that comes around um, from the flood that just spawned in, we hopefully go for some shots in them. And probably just go ahead and move, like, right next up with Shaun the Sheep. We need to stick together here. Because if not, we're going to get swarmed, and all the flood are going to just go in one person and kill them. This way, hopefully they'll attack both of us and kind of... Uh, draw that out a bit more. We do have a shield bearer just like walking through the city. I guess clearing it out of the flood. Alright, first shot available. It is a hit. We just instantly kill him. But we have plenty more flood forms where that came from. Second shot. Instant kill as well. We are just going to be gunning these guys down. Third shot. Also a kill. Doing consistently 7 damage to every flood form. And a 4th kill. Well, he didn't quite know it was a kill there, but it was actually a kill on that flood form. So that was quite devastating for him, I would say. Uh, we have a pretty terrible chance to hit with the, uh, the pistol here. I would say... Yeah, what's the play here? Do we dare chunk a grenade out? Uh, we can't take out that support beam there. It's not possible. Okay. Um, maybe we just outrun them. Even if it's something silly at this. Sky Doom. Run up there. Uh-oh. Did we spot more enemies? The Whoa. Andromedon. This complicates things. Because this sucker is super tanky. 
Um, we need to make sure he does not hit us this turn, or else someone's gonna die. Also, he's got a really nasty grenade ability. Are we gonna be able to survive that? Maybe. Best I can do is this right here, brother. Roger. Oh, man. Yeah, climb up here, get up here real fast. I'm just hoping that the fog of war kind of distorts things, but if he's able to lob, lob a grenade up, this is going to be nasty. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so the fog of war actually did work. Now, let's make sure we don't misclick. <laughs> um, I have done that before and left troops behind. Let's not do it now. Okay. All right, gentlemen, let us get out of here. So first being Sean the Sheep, and then Sky of Doom. All members of Wraith 1 have been successfully evac Alrighty, we actually took out eight. Eight enemies there. It's quite impressive. <laughs> Look at this pose here, the two sharpshooter bros. Can we, um... Let's change that text around. Instead of off our planet, let's just be like, get off our planet. Uh, get off our planet, bro. <laughs> yes! I love it. Let's go ahead and continue. And continue. Okay, so with this, we should have completed that mission. Um, it was the um, Covert Ops. I think it was... What was it for? I can't quite remember. yet to discover exactly what type of exposure led to the creation of these lost civilians but their numbers would indicate a widespread effect okay so we got out of that both of us were wounded there but we'll be just fine um we got barely any loot there that should be that we have a supply drop available now we have succeeded in our task Okay, it was this. It was will recovery for all soldiers is 20% faster. Uh, that's important because of the uh, dark event that is currently active right now. And now the resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. We've got a shot at hitting the elders hard, something we haven't tried before. You up for it, Commander? Um, what do you mean by that? So we have these things here. Uh, Form Soldier Bun, Recover Loot, Fabricate PCS. These are actually kind of nice to do. We also get a promotion out of it as well. Redu re uh, reduce Avatar Project. And the build points are really nice too. I like these as well. I think we might do this. Let's go ahead and promote someone if we can. Oh, it's a lot. Why not? Because we can very easily actually go through this without having to worry about, um, like, we can go through this this um, end of episode. So. Go ahead and begin action there. Will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Alrighty, uh, we started scanning here. I didn't really want this to be honest. One of the intel down here. It's still down on this location. One day left on it. By the way, we're getting 800 supplies a turn, which is quite nice. Okay, let's finish this up. Strategic resource Boom. located. Nice, 100 intel. Okay. Not now. Uh, so we do have the supply drop. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to come on over here and collect the rest of this. And I'm going to try to get the Australia upgrade as well, if we can. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. It this is the Archon upgrade. Looking, if nothing else. Although I okay. am still not entirely sure what the aliens hope to achieve with such a grand design. So we get a better axe. 
Um, funny enough, actually, I think we had taken that off of Tim Key bag because of his new armor, which is fine. Elrenium Jets. Um, psychic Lance. Probably, yeah, we go for the Lance, probably. That's upgraded sniper rifles. I'm gonna check this out, really. Right, quick. Um, so, where are you at? Tea bag. Loadout. Oh. Oh, we still can use that. I just took it off accidentally. All right, we'll probably still keep that axe on him because you know it's kind of a iconic thing for him now, even. So, bit of a mix-up. How does that look with the armor, though? Looks okay. I don't think it gets in the way of it. We could get someone else too. I don't know. Not quite sure what's best. We'll see about running that still. Let's go ahead and get these supplies here. Now there's Ponder Suit available. One and done. Alrighty. Now we'll ignore this. I'd like to go ahead and do one of these two. I don't think they really matter in particular. We'll do this one because it'll run, technically net us more supplies because that region's worth a bit more. Australia. Alrighty. I think it's like the Sydney area. You know, also like helps out with New Zealand here. So in five days we'll have this Our upgrade. Alright, we have that PCS now available. And a new promotion. Full of bonds. Recruitment. We could also go for another one of the chosen here. Maybe like going for the warlock. Um I like the idea of this though. Ability points are so nice. Okay, as far as hacking ability, we have Sky of Doom, Samurai. I've been slowly upgrading Jackson's. Um, and we'll go ahead and let Alyssa Watt here. Actually, can we uh, do an upgrade real quick before? Oh. Okay, it's fine. We'll just go ahead and do this now. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Whenever that covert action is done, we'll do the upgrade. Oh! Supply raid, is it? Okay, well, this will be our next mission then. It looks like this is going to be a. Ooh, it's a supply mission with Flood. That seems kind of spicy here. This is going to be difficult to work with. Alrighty, well, we're going to stop right here. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. And as always, stay classy out there.